some say the human body is perfect. Those people are bloody liars. In the corner of the human eye is a small piece of skin. It's a visual reminder that human beings once had a third eyelid. It used to blink from side to side and was translucent. This was to protect our eyes without hindering our sight. Some animals, like cats and lizards, still have a third eyelid. But it's not vital to human survival, so ours disappeared. I imagine our ancestors closed them while swimming underwater. This would explain why so many reptiles still have them. Only 10% of humans have this one. It's a tiny bump of skin at the top of the ear. We can't be sure what its purpose was, but it does literally nothing for us. When larger, it may have helped us focus our hearing. It's known as the Darwin's tubercle, and even if you don't have one, you may still have the gene anyway. Other animals also have it, but only some on their ears, so it's not even an ear thing. Human feet aren't that good compared to other apes. They can use their feet for all kinds of things. They do this with a foot muscle called the plantaris. We too have this muscle, but it's too weak for us to use. Apart from walking, humans haven't used their feet for hundreds of generations. Some people do train the muscle until they can use their feet like monkeys, but 9% of people don't even have the muscle. I'm sure you know we don't need our appendix. But what you may not know is that science has no idea if it actually does anything. Either way, it's not important, which is why it's so common to have your appendix removed. It is thought to be inherited from a purely plant-eating ancestor to humans, but it doesn't appear to help digestion in any way. When human beings get nervous or cold, goosebumps often appear on our skin. This is caused by a group of muscle fibers called erector pili. This really helps animals with fur, as it traps more heat in hair follicles. This also makes them look bigger, which can scare off predators. That's why it happens when we get nervous instead of just cold. Although it may just make some animals look like a bigger meal. This of course doesn't work for humans, as we don't have fur, so we just end up getting goosebumps for no reason. The coccyx is part of your vertebrae. It's commonly known as the tailbone, because it's the last remaining part of the tail we once had. When human beings were human monkey beings, we had tails to help with tree climbing, but as we began walking upright, the tails fell out of use and disappeared. The tailbone may eventually disappear completely, which might not be a bad thing, as it's just another bone to break. Get close enough to a newborn baby, and it may grab onto your finger. They tend to do this quite a lot for the first six months of their life, and then stop. Babies used to hold onto their parents' fur to avoid falling out of trees. This way, parents could use both hands to avoid danger. The grip is strong enough to hold their weight, but stroke the back of their hand, and they should release it. Whenever I hear someone mention their sinuses, it's never anything good. They are pockets of air in your face. Bacteria can get inside these pockets and cause painful infections. And if that wasn't bad enough, the sinuses don't even do anything. It's just there, taking up space. Sinus infection can cause headaches, coughs, intense pain, and loss of sense of smell. All that from something you don't even need. The only time your sinuses affect your sense of smell is when it makes it worse. 
human beings are evolving to have smaller mouths. This has caused several problems, one of which is the growth of wisdom teeth. Wisdom teeth usually emerge in your early 20s and are known to be quite painful. Because our mouths have gotten smaller, there is less room for wisdom teeth to fit into, and there's really no use in having them. The original use of wisdom teeth may have been to replace lost teeth, but now we have dentistry. Male nipples. It was only a matter of time. In the early stages of fetal development, people are without gender. Gender is determined later with the release of testosterone. The amount of testosterone released depends on our chromosomes. With the Y chromosome, you'll be a man, and nipples will have no actual function. The only reason we have them is they develop before the testosterone is released.